Hey guys, Zolard here, back with another review. Today we're having a look at the Transformers Fall of Cybertron. I almost said Prime. Hmm. Prime and Beast Hunters. But we are having a look at the Fall of Cybertron Deluxe Class Decepticon Brawl Part 5 of 5 to Decepticon Bruticus. So I have him. He is complete. I've put him in combined mode. Pretty impressive overall. But uh, let's have a closer look at Brawl. He's got his little cannon here, which I'm not going to be able to take out in a short amount of time. So I'll just leave it in there, and you'll see it in robot mode. But uh, this guy's kind of like a hover tank, I guess. And this stupid piece came off. There we go. That should do it. Not quite sure why that wanted to pop off, but it just did. Didn't do it on the other side, so don't know what the deal is. Uh, to be quite honest with you, this guy kind of reminds me of an H-Tank crossed with a hovercraft. For whatever reason, the silhouette it gives almost looks like a coffin. Not sure why I see that. It also looks like, uh, could potentially be a vehicle from Star Wars or Heavy Metal 2000, but, you know, that's just me. Now, I do have one complaint. It's just on mine, so it's not gonna drop the rating plus my dad and I are eventually gonna fix it um I didn't notice this in the haul video yesterday but what color should this be mm-hmm they forgot to paint this freaking uh, little piston there come on Hasbro get off your lazy butts and paint your crap that's kind of annoying cuz this was the only one there whatever um but he still looks good overall, but we just need to paint that. And uh, here he is next to uh, Onslaught and uh, his side mate, um, Vortex. As you can see, he's rather small. Rather small. Vortex eh? wanted to bring him with him. Can't do that. Just can't do that. But uh, here he is next to Wave. Gotta love Wave. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say for vehicle mode, so I'm gonna get this guy transformed, and I'll be back in a sec, okay? Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We'll be back in a minute. Okay. See you in a sec. Alrighty, guys, we are back with Brawl and his stupid turret lace flop round. So we'll just fix that. But, uh, here's Brawl and for a quick size comparison. Uh, we'll move him to the back there and bring in Onslaught. As always, try to get him in there. There we go. And um, t -t 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 Vortex. Just for a quick size comparison. Now, as you can see, Brawl is rather short compared to these two, especially Onslaught. But I think a tank should be a little bit bigger than a helicopter. That's just me. But, uh, who knows? There are some planes that could carry tanks, but I don't know if they're helicopters. Actually, I think Chinooks can, but that's not... This is not a real-life tank. Now, this crotch tends to give me a little trouble, since it does help in forming the arm, but it is a little wobbly on mine. It's kind of annoying. I think I just tabbed something in, I'm not sure. But uh, he's got the turret on the back. He's got a bit of a backpack for camping here. He's got the peg. He's got this thing. I think they could have had this so it went up over into this cavity here. Maybe that would have sturdied up his legs a little. But that's just me. That's just mine. So, of course, I get the one with the loose joint and the stupid mist paint. Come on. It's going to bug me, so I'm just going to keep my thumb over it. But articulation, he's got a ball joint in the head. Can move around or sink back into the body like a turtle. Make sure it's out all the way. And uh, he's also got in and out movement. That's how transformation's easier, so I actually thank them for that. Add a little bit. He's got ball joints, which you can move if you get at this bit. So, 
He can move his arms, the shoulders a little bit. He's got ball jointed elbows. He can move in and out here a little bit. He's got his gun there. His wrists will move up and down. I think this is cool. You can get him in the stick up pose. Like, you gotta hand over the cash, eh? <laughs> Something like that. That's kind of funny. Um, he's got ball joints in the hips and hinged knees. Um, he's also got an ab crunch, I guess. If you count that as an ab crunch. Um, just putting that back. He's also got sort of a waist movement, but it's kind of limited, and I just popped a whole bunch of crap out, so I'm going to fix that. I'm not really sure if that's supposed to go back up or not. Maybe it's supposed to go... Oh, there we go. Now it's locked into place. My bad. So you just push it back up into the body. Maybe that's why it was loose. It still is a little bit, but it's not as loose as it was. But you gotta pull it down and then push it back up, because I think that helps with the arm mode. But uh, that's Brawl. Overall, he's not bad. Oh, and he's got a little bit of toe pivot. But um, mine stands halfway decent. Um, of course, I say that. No, he's not going to. But uh, Brawl is not bad, in my opinion. I like him more than Swindle, actually. Just because Swindle, I really never cared for. But um, Brawl here is okay. Um, we'll do a size comparison with old Wave here before we sign off. Show you his arm or leg mode. But uh, there's Wave. But, um, yeah, Brawl overall is a nice figure. That rhymed. So, if I had to say anything, I'd pick him up. Um, just as a standalone figure, maybe not, but I might have. I'm into guys like this. But I would pick him up for the Bruticus reason, and plus he looks halfway decent in Roam Up mode. Just watch out for the paint app. So overall, he's a nice figure. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. So, hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Transformers Fall of Cybertron Deluxe Class Brawl. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to have his limb mode before I end this. And uh, don't forget to comment, like, share, favorite this video. I'm on Facebook and Twitter. And if you sub me, I'll sub you back. Blah, blah, blah. We, we know. Okay? We know. So, don't forget to do all that stuff. Stay tuned. Until next time, see you guys later. Peace. Okay, guys, we're back with the pseudo kick Bruticus, and we have Brawl, so we shouldn't do that anymore. I mentioned in Br in uh not Brawls, um, Bruticus's review. I will be leaving uh, Brawl's gun in his uh, tank turret there. So, well, this one's gonna be fun because we got the weight of. Swindle on the other side. There we go. Got it in a little bit quicker. But, um, there we go. Just have to bend that a little bit. And there is Bruticus. All complete. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, they made an add on kit. Who cares? But uh, there is the completed Bruticus. Stay tuned for his review. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace. This review is going to be so awesome.